I mentioned it before, but I'll mention it again. I do use two different slip solutions. I use one for application and these guys are using for prepping, meaning like for cleaning windows. I talked about a long time ago that me using exotic slips for cleaning is not my cup of tea because it, it is very wasteful with the exotic juice. There this guy goes right there. Okay. Now, here in the bottom, we'll pop them open and slide them in there a little bit. There you go. Same deal here. Pop this guy open with this. This guy goes down there. There you go. Pop this guy in there. This guy in the bottom. Now, don't ask me about this shank. I built it. I don't. I don't resell it. I don't think I want to fabricate it and resell it. I'm, I'm gonna. You know, I'm only gonna make uh, like 50 cents because I want to give you the tip instead of anything else. You know. There you go, man. Super, 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 super. I already did the pre-cut in the previous video, as you already saw. And you want to know what that looks like? It looks like that. I'll go ahead and kind of seal them off. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay. I'm just very, very um, glad that this thing is so skinny and nimble. I mean, I can do pretty much everything with it as far as installs and going behind the, the gasket and all that kind of BS, you know, like here, under and squeegee and under. I don't need to take out six squeegees or nothing, just one, kill it and be done. Now, you can now that it's already pretty much set wherever it's going to be at you can take out the master blaster if you like of your choice you know a presser and do your final thing it's not going to move it's already exactly where it's going to be at now my squeegee position it doesn't matter if it's this way or this way just put balls behind it and the water is going to be out that's all you can see the water there see it uh-huh there it is no more fucking around going back and forth just one time and that's it it's really technique people tell me and ask me what's the best squeegee dude it's not about the squeegee man you've been you've been seeing too much internet probably it's really about your technique and the tool you know for it's a proper tool and that's it this guy has no water. It's applied very well. Um, this guy, we're going to just do this right here. Because I felt there was a little bit of thing there. This guy had a little bit of water there. There. Tape it. This is just for non-slip, you know. Uh, this is like the stuff they put on heat guns. It didn't work for me. Uh, all the heat, I felt it go through. So to me, it was bogus. So what I use this for, for really wrapping like this guy right here. You know how a lot of people are afraid of this guy touching the car when you have it in front sometimes? Yeah, I know, it's it's kind of painful if you scratch it. But I put some here, as you can see, so if it touches car, you won't scratch it anymore. So there's a lot of other uses for me that I actually use this stuff, but not on heat guns, you know. I haven't, you know, really messed myself up with a heat gun in so many years, but it doesn't mean that. You guys can use it, use it however you want to, but for me it didn't work out, so I've been using it some other ways you know i have it on my website if you guys want to buy it knock yourself out but i'm just telling you the honest review i just don't don't see it to do shit for me at all and i and you can see i have a lot of heat guns that really blow a lot of hot air so okay look at this window i mean it is fab 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 no contamination air peel when i touched i touch here with the uh back of my my nail i never do this thing i when i touch film look watch watch this see it's really my fingernail that's touching it i i never touch it like this i always touch it like this and these are the tips for the day i will go ahead and make another video um uh, you know messing around with this and the back window and all that kind of stuff so uh that's it i'll talk to you guys in a little bit gopro stop recording